Hey, what's up? Hello. Let me stop. I'm just copying <laughs> Rochelle Clark. Anyways, um, so welcome to a new vlog. Um, so I'm just leaving the gym. But earlier, before I went to the gym, me and one of my coworkers went to Walmart to buy some baby stuff for one of our other coworkers that is having a baby soon. Well, the baby's like already due, like past due actually. The baby was due on Saturday. Um, and I just thought about it randomly that we should get him like a gift basket um, for his newborn. So we went to go pick up some stuff. And while we were there, while we were there, there's this guy in the parking lot that had all of these like hate messages on his vehicle and while we like when we saw him in walmart he was like writing more stuff he had hate messages towards muslims he had hate um, messages towards um president obama he had hate messages towards gays it was like wow I, i've never ever 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 in my life seen something so so like hateful in person and disregard my ashy lips. I did not have chapstick on all day. I just been licking it, licking it, licking it. But anyways, like I could not believe we saw that. It was crazy. He had like this old raggedy ass van, um, this minivan with all these messages. Like he took his time and wrote those messages on his truck, on his van. And the thing about it, the thing, like that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that when you look at the hood, it looked like people was like signing in it signing it and leaving messages now I wanted to get a closer look but I didn't want to get a closer look because you never know how crazy people are you these these days um, but I did drive by it like twice so that I could snap it and I will insert the snap here but I just thought that was so crazy because you always hear or see stuff like that on the internet but Never like what I've thought that I would see something like that like that in person, and um, it had other hateful messages on it too. But it's only so much you can see um, when you're trying to drive by inconspicuously. Um, on our way walking into Walmart, her she recognized someone looking suspicious on the outside of Walmart, like leaning up against the wall. And so we stopped once we got inside because once we passed by him, he like walked away. So we stopped to see if he was going towards that van, but he didn't, he walked towards his car. But on our way out, we saw that his car was parked next to the van. So it's like, wow, you just never know. You gotta keep your eyes open when you're around people because you just never know. And so I was supposed to call, I told myself once I got on base that I would call the cops, but that didn't happen. But um, usually at that Walmart, there's always cops outside there. But for some reason today, there was no cops and I'm about to pass by a base cop right now. So I'm just trying to play cool. Hey, hey, Mr. Officer. <laughs> but anyways, like, could you guys, can you believe that? And when there's not cops at that Walmart, there's like security, but there was no security there either. So it's like, they must know the schedule. Um, I just thought that was crazy. But look at all this sweat that I've endured at the gym today based on just me lifting. Now, usually I'll lift and run and then do the sauna, but I'll always do some type of, like I'll always either run and lift or lift and sauna. But today all I did was lift and I was gonna go in the sauna today, but I was like, <laughs> I like all this sweat right here just from lifting, I'm good. I don't have to go in the sauna. I can, you know, cut my sh day short. So I worked out for less than an hour, but it was straight lifting. And I'm so proud of myself because let me tell you guys, I did not have any headphones in today. Like I wasn't listening to any music and I went so hard. Like, I guess because music kind of takes away from my focus. Um, and I think that when I'm listening to music, I'm trying, to, I'm trying, to, I'm also trying not to be too loud. So I can't hear like my breathing or, you know, my huffing and puffing when I got music on. So I try to, I think I limit myself too much. So without having music on, I could hear myself. So I knew how hard I could go. I was just impressed with myself. Like this was the hardest I've ever worked out by myself. So I give myself a pat on the shoulders. Um, and if you work out on a regular basis, I encourage you to every once in a while, go without music and see how good your, your workout is. Like, just go hard, just go hard, just for the sake of going hard. So I, that's my encouragement from you. And based on today's workout, I think from now on, I'm going to lift without music and then have a separate day for cardio and sauna. So tomorrow I'll do cardio and sauna, 
and I'll have my headphones for the cardio. Obviously, I, I'm not going in the sauna with my headphones and phone because my phone always over overheat when I'm in the sauna, so yeah. But I've talked to you guys for five minutes just now, so I will talk to you guys later. Hey, you guys. So I know you can barely see me because I'm just chilling in my living room, but um, I just wanted to come to you guys real quick and talk about some shit. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Beat Face Honey, but she's a makeup artist that started out on YouTube. No credentials, just a girl that liked doing YouTube and she was learning as she go. Well, she became really, really popular and she asked her subscribers to reach out to Brandy and tell her that she wanted to do her makeup for her. Well, it got Brandy's attention and Brandy allowed her to do her makeup. And I, actually, I think she actually like did it a few times. So from there, Nicki Minaj um, had her working for her, I think for like a short period of time or had to do her makeup for one time or something like that. I can't remember, but that's how I heard about Beat Face Honey. But she was always like a popular YouTuber or whatever, something like that, I don't know. So I subscribed to her from there. But ever since then, she wasn't, she hadn't been making YouTube videos um, consistently. At least I haven't seen her. I think I may have seen her make one video since then, but I didn't watch it. But today she watched a video and it's a slow YouTube day. So I decided to, um, she made a video, so it's a slow, a slow YouTube day. So I decided to watch it. And so she's going on and on about how she's going to quit YouTube. No, well, not quit YouTube, but how, how she has been trying to get back on YouTube. And she kept saying she was, but she just hadn't had the time because she's been busy. She goes on to say how she just was saying how she experienced a lot. Um, she's worked with a bunch of celebrities. She's worked for a bunch of um, you know major companies, and that she feels as though she is too experienced, and she's got has has so much stuff under her belt that she thinks she's above. Pretty much, she thinks she's above the whole YouTube thing. So for her to do YouTube, she's going to charge ninety nine cents per tutorial, makeup tutorial. So she's going to charge her subscribers 99 cents for each makeup tutorial. Here's my thing. If you're such a success off YouTube, then stay your ass off YouTube. It is not fair to the subscribers for you to have to for you to have to charge them 99 cents per view. That's ridiculous. Like my thing is your subscribers are where it's your subscribers that got you where you are literally. Like there is there like how can you possibly charge your subscribers when they're the one who got you where you are it's because of, it's because of them that you are so famous on youtube and it's because of them that brandy even you know reached out to you to allow you to do her makeup so why would you think that it's okay for you to, to charge your subscribers i don't care if, i don't care that it's only a dollar bitch like and i left a long comment on her not a long i pretty much just said that i was about to show y'all but i pretty much just said that to her and telling her I'm trying to see if it's still up. It's not. But I told her, like, if if you were so, so if you're so successful successful off YouTube, then why not stay off YouTube? Why charge your subscribers when they're the one who got you where you at? That's ridiculous. I would never. I don't care how big I got. If I ever decided to stay, if I decided to stay on YouTube, which I'm pretty sure, I don't care how big I am. I probably would still be on YouTube. Never say never. But if I decided to not be on YouTube, I'm just not gonna be on YouTube because there's no way I'm gonna charge you guys for a service that you can get for free by thousands of other people on YouTube. Why the fuck would you watch my videos when there's other people that you can watch for free? That makes absolutely no sense, in rant. Now, Nicki Minaj went on a Twitter rant today about how MTV Music Awards, video, VMAs um, snubbed her on Video of the Year. They gave her video nomination for Anaconda for Best Rap Video but, just like Kanye West said about the Grammys, it's not fair that you can give, you can nominate and let, allow and, you know, award black people for subcategories, but whenever it comes to the big main, major categories, they get snubbed. So, um, Nicki Minaj is upset that Anaconda is nominated for Best Rap Video, but not Video of the Year. Because, when you think about it, Anaconda was a huge ass video. Everyone was talking about that video. Social media went crazy after that video. It broke the Vivo record and it's not even nominated for video of the year. So she's upset about that, which I think is a valid point. So then Taylor Swift Taylor Swift felt felt some type of way about it because Nicki Minaj mentioned how the other people get nominated because pretty much she made it a race issue, which I've been saying this for the longest. 
stuff when it comes to stuff like this, it is a race issue. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's no offense to white people because it's not your fault. But at the same time, with the, when it comes to entertainment in the music industry, in the you know television and movie industry, that's how, just how it is. It really is. Like, and it's sad that white people can't see it. Not really sad because I mean, if you don't see it, then more power to you because that's something you don't have to worry about. But don't um, don't make it seem like it's not. It's not out there. It's not, like it's not happening just because you don't see it. Of course, you're not going to see it because it's not affecting you. But whenever it's affecting the people like the minorities, then they're going to see it. So don't try to belittle our feelings because you don't feel the same way. Just because you don't feel the same way or you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. A lot of people, a lot of white people may think that racism doesn't exist. But that's because you're not the one that's being victimized. You know what I'm saying? You're not the victim of race to racism. And I'm not saying that white people aren't the victim, but I'm saying, you know, y- y'all know what I'm saying. I'm, not, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to make this a race issue and not like that because I love all races. I have no discrimination against any race, color, sex, nothing, like nothing. So that's not what it's about. It's just, I just felt some type of way because, like Taylor Swift, if anything, Miley Cyrus should have been, you know, talking about. I mean, should have, you know, mentioned Nicki Minaj because that's who, that's who Nicki was referring to, Miley. So Taylor. This is not your battle. It really isn't. Just because you're nominated for Video of the Year doesn't mean Nikki was talking about you. I mean, yeah, she could have been talking about you, but as when you read the tweets, that's I mean, further along the line, yes, maybe she was getting to you, but she was not initially talking to you whenever you tweeted her. So I just felt like, come on, Nikki. I mean, not Nikki. <laughs> come on, Taylor. You like, I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift. I mean, she makes some catchy songs, but I've never purchase a song by her. I never, you know, listened to an album by her. I know that her last album was pretty a pretty good one. And I also can admit that Taylor Swift contributed a uh, contributed to a big part of Nicki Minaj's success because let's make it let's be clear, um Super Bass was not a single on her album at all. Like it was a bonus track on the deluxe album. So and it wasn't even available in all markets. To, um that was like on the Target uh you know CD or whatever so it wasn't even available everywhere before um Taylor Swift um rapped a verse the first verse on a radio station but with that being said said I just feel like Taylor Swift thinks that she's entitled bitch just because you're reigning queen right now doesn't mean that you're entitled to fight every battle like you you bat you um bash iTunes which I thought was a good thing because it was the truth like you can't give out th- um, a free trial for three months and not pay the artist like what the fuck do you think that like no you can't do that like okay if you're going to give out a free service bitch you're going to pay me my money still like you can't just do that um but and she you know she dropped her um her music from spotify which i commend her for all those things because that's that takes bravery and it's good that somebody at her level can do something like that so that these big companies can stop trying to play people like don't be trying to play me but at the same time stay in your lane boo boo because th- this had nothing to do with you like for real stay in your lane in rant hey what's up you guys um i just woke up getting ready for work um i just wanted to quickly <laughs> i just wanted to get something on my chest real quick because every morning before i wake up when, when i wake up i um i check all my social media and um i check my email to see what comments i got on the on, on youtube and it's becoming regular that every day I see a negative comment on a video of my YouTube channel. And it takes everything in me not to pop off on the motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you know how y'all, you know how we, we, like, everybody be like, just ignore people. Like, like the celebrities you will tell celebrities to just ignore people, like, especially Chris Brown. Like, he just want to, like, you know, address everything or K. Michelle or somebody like that. I see how they feel. Um, If it was like something like where I felt like everybody else saw it too, I would definitely, you know, go the fuck off. So I understand where these celebrities come from because, like, people be trying me in my comments. They be trying me. Like, (laughs) they just want a reaction though. So, like one time, this one dude, he left a hateful comment and then when I went to... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to do. I don't know if I was going to respond to it or not. But when I actually went to the comment on YouTube, it actually said, just kidding. Laugh out loud. I actually love your videos. Um, Why would you leave something so hateful on there and then say that afterwards? Like, 
fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not cool. Like I thought that I would be able to like like it would be easy for me to just brush it off my shoulders. Um, yeah, I haven't had to respond to anybody yet. Or if I have responded, it's been like thanks, okay, or. I was smart with somebody and I was like, um, I told them that there's plenty of other people that, you know, <laughs> might, can, you know, satisfy your needs here on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not for you, but you watch my videos and obviously it was impactful enough for you to, impactful, that's not a word, it impacted you enough for you to comment, so, yeah, but, um, <laughs> that's today's rant. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, so the females in front of me are so fucking musty. Either one of them or all of them. Like, I'm like walking behind them and I'm like, why the fuck y'all smell like this? Like, this is just for fucking respectful, okay? These are the hoes I'm talking about. One of them is stink or all of them is stink. I hate when people ask me for money because it's like, I know you're not asking for money for food. It's like, it's hella late. You know you want something like drugs or some shit. Like, don't be asking me for money. You're not going to do right with that money. Already got one. Niggas be passing out flies. Like, I'm not going to throw it in the trash right after I get it. I don't even know, like, first of all, if you're gonna pass out a flyer, then you need to have the club that's on the flyer, like the club that the flyers are at. <laughs> okay, so I don't make sense right now. But if you're gonna pass out a flyer, then the place that the place, the place that the club, the club that the place is at, that the party's at, need to be like clear on the flyer. This does not tell me where is at. So um, this is gonna go in the trash. I have no idea where the party's supposed to be. Where did I park? Hold the fuck up. I don't even remember where I parked at, you guys. Okay, so Taco Mac's right here. <laughs> did I park past Taco Mac? I want to say I did. Yeah, I want to say I did. Trash can. Wait a minute, where is this at? July 25th. Fuck it. <laughs> My intention was to throw it in the trash can. Anyways, I had a good time tonight. Um, I ended up meeting one of my friends here. Well, one of Frederick's friends here. Um, this is my first time hanging out with him by myself. <laughs> it was um, kind of weird at first when, like, you know, when we first made the plans. But once he got there, well, to the first place I was at, it was cool. But um, had a pretty good time. I did not get hit on at all tonight. <laughs> did I get hit on at all? No, I didn't get hit on at all tonight. Where did I park? I feel like I'm passing my car somewhere. Is it on the street? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> Clearly did not know where I parked at. Okay, now watch these ghetto motherfuckers in this Ford Focus. I'm about to pass by them real quick and you about to see them, okay? Ciao. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Am I doing it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, the same way that you were. Your yeah. back is dipped in. <laughs>
what's up you guys so i just woke up i'm about to clean my apartment it's a mess i'm not even gonna show y'all but um so i woke up check my email and tell me why youtube took down a video of mine saying that um i had a misleading title and that i can't do that because um it garners views that are misleading anyways um it was the video of uh when I gave away the Pink Print CD, how is that misleading? I said the Pink Print, Nicki Minaj, the Pink Print giveaway, and I had a picture of me smiling with the CD in my hand. The thumbnail was not misleading or the title. I think was, what happened is, you know how the Pink Print tour is going on right now? Well, they must think that I, I must have changed my title after the fact, and I want people to um, think that um, I'm giving away tour tickets. So I'm thinking maybe my that video was garnering, uh, garnering views recently. Um, I think it's retarded. Just because something else came out with the same name doesn't mean that I did any changes or anything. Like, I don't really care that they did it, but it just pisses me off because y'all need to do y'all's research. Like, I didn't do anything. I didn't make any recent changes to that video. I, like, it's not even a, a video that even garnered me a lot of views initially, so I don't even know why they are tripping. But don't just be deleting my shit and then emailing, sending me an email after the fact, and I can't dispute nothing. You know? Because, like, what if it, like, when I saw the title of the email, I was like, they better not have been deleting anything, you know, that's, you know, anyways. So, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that. Today is Sunday, so that means I have to upload this vlog today. Um, I don't know if it's short or not, but, um, <laughs> sorry if it is. But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to get done today. So, I will talk to you guys in my next vlog. Bye!